Alright guys, got some of it late. It's 7 30 in the morning. I had to come back. It's wet all on the trees. Rain came down. So get the rest of this laid out this morning. And this mulch is gonna be a lot heavier because it's wet now. Taking it to back there. Now, we're gonna talk about 50K mowing versus 100K landscaping, or trying to get both. And I'm gonna tell you, if you was gonna be starting in the beginning, the landscaping would be easier to get into. You don't have to buy any power tools or anything, you just buy some handheld tools, some wheelbarrows, and you can actually just have a pickup truck and you can get started. So with landscaping, you get started for less than a K versus starting a lawn service, which might end up costing you about 5K, getting everything used to be able to get out the gate. You really need to be able to get out the gate. A lot of people say you can start with a push mower and a trimmer, which is so true, but if you're gonna start with a push mower and trimmer, you're gonna need a whole lot of small properties because when it comes to the bigger properties and trying to knock them out with just a push mower and a trimmer, and you'll be wore out. You'll be really wore out. So when it comes to investing and starting off, you're gonna be way cheaper starting off in landscaping. Like I say, you could start off with that with a little bit of pitchfork, wheelbarrow, maybe a couple rakes, and you could get started. Maybe get you even battery hedger, and you could be out there started doing some landscaping jobs. Now with mowing, depending on what area you're in, let's just say, and this is, a lot of people don't have this many clients or customers, but we're gonna say you're doing pretty good and you're doing 40 to 60 weekly to buy weekly $50 cuts. Now that's gonna get you between, let's just say 1,500 to 2,500 a week. Plus you got your expenses. So you might be looking at about 7,000 to 10,000 a month, 10,000 a month. We're just being realistic here. Not everybody's got a 20K a month, 15K a month operation. So say if they get you 75 to, or 5,000 to 10K a month, eight months, you got potential to make you between 50 and 80,000. Say you do about 60,000. And with that 60,000, you got to still think about a lot of expenses that you're going to have to pay for and you're going to be coming out of pocket for. You got to consider repairs, gas, just all this little stuff that little intangibles that you never even expect to happen. So you maybe can make you between 50 to 80. 50 to 100k in eight months depending eight to nine months depending on how hard you're really grinding and i'm talking about this grinding and with landscaping you can actually do one or two jobs a week and be making between a thousand twenty five hundred this job i'm doing right here this is my second time back on the property the first time doing it it was 1300 bucks now me coming back and having to just really brighten it up and go over for real, it wasn't a $1,300 charge again because it wasn't gonna be as much work. So let's just say if I had two jobs like this a week, that could be easily 2,600 bucks. Just working two days, two or three days maybe. And let's just say you're doing an average of uh, two, let's say you got two jobs, you should make it 2,500 bucks. 2,500 bucks a week, and you can make around 10K for the month. Now, with your expenses, you're not going to be coming off of much expenses just buying your moking boats and uh, paying for, or if you got somebody to work for you, you're just going to be paying somebody to work. You're paying for labor. So it's kind of, it might be a little cheaper than mowing, but it's going to be a lot more work. And let's just say if you can get that eight to 10 grand a month with this and you go 10 months, you're sitting around 80 to 95 to $100,000 in 10 months now. And that's with landscaping. So... Let's just say we mix in a little bit of both on her. With lawn, like I say, you're gonna be coming off more repairs, but well, depending on how, I ain't even gonna say just depending on how you take care of your equipment. Repairs are inevitable, they're gonna happen. So let's just say you're doing four days a morning, you picking up one or two landscape jobs a week. That might be the sweet spot right there, guys, because you can actually take the more money and be living off of it. You could take that landscape money and be saving and reinvesting. And that's about where I'm at with it. I'm trying to get my mowing schedule down nice and keep me at least one landscape job a week. That's the sweet spot, I believe, for me. And that's what would get me 
the type of income that I might need to get to to get out of where I'm at right now. So you guys drop some comments, leave some comments, tell me. Do you guys do just mowing? Do you do strictly landscaping? Or do you mix them in both? And how do you schedule and go about it? did this not too long ago but I want to remote so we're gonna lay the mulch also got the front side right here I'm gonna have to get so start getting this laid down let you guys check out the final final results of it all right so finally got it done and all I did was put light light layer on I've already done this one Put a light layer on like they want it, but it turned out looking great. So, guys, let me know what you think. What's the biggest most job you ever done? How many landscape jobs have you done this season? I believe it's my sixth, fifth or sixth. Hold on, we're getting the gate real quick. I'm gonna walk through and get this, and I'm out of here. Like, Cause I go back home, I'll look at it, I'll be like, oh, I might've missed this. You walk with me, come on, Nash. <laughs> I, think, I think he's just walking with me now, like, okay. That's it, guys. And what you guys think? I think it looks pretty dang decent. For a solo man job. And I also had to drop some right here. So, but it rained again last night. I'm a most job. Seems like it ends up raining. So, get with you in just a second. All right, so, got the mulch off the trailer. I have to go spray that off. Had a big tree trunk on the other property. And I got some trees that I got to put mulch around. So this is the rest of the mulch right here, guys. I will be coming out in a couple days to go drop this on this property. So I'm out of here, man. It's been a long day. You see I'm tired, hot, sweaty. It's Boneyard Lawn Service, man. I'll holler at you guys on the next one. Thanks to all of my subscribers. If you ain't subscribed, subscribe. Hit the like, leave a comment. Holler at you the next one.